everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing great. Right now, it is time for the season five lucky draws. I know you guys have been waiting for quite a while, and I guess here we go. So first, yeah, I do want to ask if you guys are new around here and you guys do enjoy COD Mobile content, then please do go ahead and smack that sub button and join the family. And also, if you do want to try and win a free battle pass, I am giving away five on the channel and the link to enter is down below in the description. Definitely go ahead and check that out. But anyways, here we go. And a huge shout out to All Young Gamer for the leaks that I'm going to show off in this video. So starting off, we have this particular draw over here. And we are going to have the smoked out spray. It's a spray with like a mask on it looks like to me. Then we have these ghost of the sea skins. First here over here for this cryo bomb. It's blue. It has like the water droplets like fl water bubbles floating up the gun. And we actually have the ghost logo on the top of this cryo bomb. It actually looks pretty sick to me. Then guys, the very first ever legendary locust known as Neptune. It is not reactive. It also has like bubbles actually coming off the gun or like floating off the gun. Pretty cool. It has like this gold color on the actual scope and the scope looks very interesting. If you guys take a close look to that, we have the ghost logo on the back of the stock looking pretty cool. And we actually have like a harpoon as the barrel of this gun, blue and gold and a bit of black on there as well. Overall, it's looking pretty cool. I cannot wait to see the kill effect and very first ever locust, so let's go. But next, we are also gonna have the boat skin in the Ghost of the Sea skin. A massive ghost logo on like the bonnet and we're gonna have those bubbles or water drops like floating up the actual boat, so okay. Then we are going to have the base knife skin and this thing looks sick because the actual tip of the blade or the edge of the blade is in that highlighted light blue, black on the rest of the blade, plus those bubbles and the ghost logo. That actually looks very, very cool. Minimalistic, but it really does the job and I like that a lot. We're going to have this cool like glider, but it's obviously like the hovercraft, the blue, the bubbles, the ghost logo actually looking pretty nice. And then we have our new soldier. Again, there's gonna be Alias, like I did predict, and she looks a bit different, but still very cool. The diver version of Alias. She's in her diving outfit. She has the flippers over here on the side of her, looking very awesome. The ghost logo on the chest, the blue, the black, the goggles. Overall, very cool skin, super excited for her. So far, this draw is really impressing me at least. Moving on guys, we are going to have this FR556 skin as well. Again, same thing, ghost logo, the bubbles, the blue, a bit of like this bronze on there as well. Overall, looking nice. And then we are going to have a sick emote. She blows a bunch of bubbles, three to be exact, and she shoots them down. Actually, a sick emote, and those bubbles are so colorful. So the first draw is a win in my books. Then we have the Redux draw of the sweet joke draw. First, in the parachute gag, it's like a graffiti, very colorful parachute. We're also gonna have the gag over here on the actual wingsuit, same thing again. And we do have the return of the RPD Practical Joker for the RPD skin. Quite a nice skin back in the game. What do you guys think about that? Then guys, we're all gonna have the gag backpack, like the military uh, huge backpack type of style. Moving on guys, we're gonna have an awesome weapon charm. It's gonna be a balloon dog in this pink color. I'm actually quite a fan of that. We're also gonna have the artistic touch. We have guns over there, like spraying paint, it looks like, in the red background, red mist. Okay, moving on. We're also gonna have the gag, like graffiti baseball bat, very colorful. Plus we do have the return of the original version of Gunzo, personally my favorite version of Gunzo. Then we also have the PDW57 gag, and this thing is low-key awesome because it is animated, it's also between like this pink color and this blue color, both are very bright, it has RIP on there, it has like this creepy like skull clown on there as well, overall a very cool animated skin, and we're also gonna have a nice emote known as Bomb Juggle, juggle some bombs and they end up blowing up and they have confetti coming out of them, so anyways, that is gonna be the sweet joke Redux draw, what do you guys think about that? Then we have the Crimson Dame draw, starting off with the Parachute Regisade. It's gonna be red and like this grayish black color, nothing too crazy, but the parachute actually does look pretty nice. 
We're gonna have that same skin on the bike and honestly speaking, not the biggest fan of this on the bike. It looks pretty plain, like stuff we have seen in the past, so it doesn't excite me too much. But then we do actually have the legendary version of the CR56 AMAX. And just check out this bad boy known as Red Zef. And this thing is bulky. It's actually wrapped up in fabric, which makes it look super bulky. It's red and again, that grayish color as well. And it's actually reactive. For some reason, this thing starts catching a light, like through the different reactive stages, it starts smoking a bit, it smokes more, and then this thing just catches a light, it's literally sets on fire, the fabric is burning, and it actually looks so cool when it does catch a light. So yeah, I'm personally a fan of this. We can also see like the buckles, like off the side of the gun, like swinging around. We have like the fabric coming off as well in different areas. It actually looks pretty cool. And when it does set a light, well then I'm a big, big fan of this gun over here. Moving on some more, we have the captured spray, nothing too crazy. We also have the Regaset Backpack 4, a reskin of Backpack 4 in red as well as a grayish color. Then we have the claimed emote. She puts down her team's flag in the ground, claiming the area. Okay, moving on guys, we actually have the brand new soldier, Dame, and she is like the female version of Templar, looking sick with that mask, the goggles, and the cape. She looks the exact same way, or like her outfit is the same way as that wrapping on the actual CR56 AMAX, and she looks crazy vicious and deadly. Super sick soldier, big fan of her. Okay, moving on, we're also gonna have this Regisate skin on the Arctic 50, as well as also on the Renetti, and again, it does not excite me too much. Next, we have the legendary ghost draw, starting with the comeback flip knife. So it's gonna be blacked out, has the ghost logo on the actual blade, and it is highlighted and etched in like this fiery orangey yellow color, which glows, and it actually looks pretty cool. We're gonna have that same exact skin over here on the parachute with some like lightning going through the ghost logo, looking pretty cool, as well as over here on the tank. On the tank, it's a little bit dulled down, not as exciting, more toned down, and a little bit more stealthy for a tank. I don't know, I guess. Then guys, we're all gonna have the reskinned version of the Backpack 3. Again, ghost logo and orange, not as bright, looking pretty nice, I guess. Then we actually do have the legendary Shorty Last Resort shotgun skin. The brand new shotgun for season five. And this thing actually is impressing me quite a bit. Originally, I wasn't too hyped about it, but it actually looks pretty cool. So we have like the barrel glowing in certain parts, like certain little slits with like that fiery glow coming out of it. We also have like sparks flying off where you would be viewing. I wonder if that is gonna distract you when you're actually using the gun. We can't see the iron sights on here, but the overall design is pretty sick. A very deadly looking double barrel shotgun. We're moving on guys. Next we have legendary ghost himself, Retribution. And I know there is some mixed feelings about this skin over here. Some people love the stealthy look of him. Other people think he's a little bit too toned down and he isn't as cool as the previous two. I fall into the line where I actually like the way he does look and I also think the intro over here to the chopper with Riley looks very, very cool. So yeah, I'm a fan of him, I think it looks cool. I'm also a fan that the actual kill counter is green this time and not the same red color we've seen two times in the past. Over here, we can also see that Riley is actually gonna be a clown class skin and not a K9 unit skin, so okay. Over here, we can also see the stance, the BR intro stance. We have Riley alongside Ghost as well. And I'm guessing you probably need to have clown equipped to have Riley fly interview. Not too sure about that. And then also, we have our loot chest, which you go ahead and get when you kill somebody. It has yellow straps and it is gray, but it does have like this awesome holographic panel in green coming off the actual chest, which looks pretty cool. Then we have our on patrol calling card with Riley alongside Ghost, pretty cool. And then we have this metallic Ghost weapon charm. And honestly, that looks more like Mace than Ghost. I'm not too sure if I actually like the way that does look, but anyways. We're also gonna have the Retribution M4 skin. If you like bright colors, 
that is definitely not for you. This is definitely a more stealthy and military gun skin. And then finally, guys, we do have our emote. He tosses down a bomb. He then pulls out two shorty shotguns from his back, does some tricks, and tosses them off to the side. Not a bad emote whatsoever. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the ghost draw. Let me know what you guys think down below. Next, we have the Hydro Shock draw starting off with the Desperado waterproof skin. Honestly, nothing too crazy. Same skin over here on the actual truck. Again, nothing crazy. It's kind of like this white skin in the background and it has like yellow and red that has faded away over time. Really nothing too cool. Then guys, we are gonna have the second ASM-10 legendary skin known as Abyssal Agent. And this skin has me super, super impressed. Like the way this gun has been designed is pretty freaking crazy. It almost reminds me of a rocket. So we have a bunch of like these nozzles where we have like fire coming out as if it was taking off. It is reactive. So eventually that fire does actually turn a bright red and also has like a satellite floating around the gun. Then on the final stage, we have another nozzle, so more fire or blast off, and we actually have steam coming out the gun as well. It actually looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I actually like it quite a bit. Moving on guys, we're also gonna have this avatar over here, our fire break on there, okay. We're gonna have another waterproof skin, this time on the axe, again nothing too crazy. Then our calling card is gonna be fire break, like wings suiting into the area, looking pretty sick. Then over here guys is our emote, it's actually pretty similar to the one we had in the battle pass quite a while ago. The drone comes down, but this time it actually scans the body of Firebreak or whichever character you are gonna use. Pretty similar, but I think it is cooler compared to the battle pass version. Moving on guys, over here is Firebreak himself, and this version of Firebreak is probably one of the coolest so far, looking like a proper villain with that hood, his mask, his cape is like cut up. He just looks crazy with all these different accessories, mostly black and gray for the most part, but he does actually look sick. And the combo between the ASM-10 and him looks really cool. That whole cape, that hoodie vibe to him adds a lot, looking like a proper villain, like I did say, pretty cool overall. Then to finish it off, we are going to have the KRM-262 waterproof skin as well as the 50GS waterproof skin as well. Now we are at our final draw for season 5. First, the unstoppable wingsuit. Orange for the most part in this white and black design on the actual wingsuit. Then we have this creepy smiley weapon charm. This rusted out pretty creepy smiley weapon charm. Okay. Then we have the Magnetic Type 25 legendary skin from the Chinese version of the game. Literally has two massive engines on the actual gun. That might take up some viewing space, but it actually looks pretty cool. No complaints of the skin. I think we have all seen it before, but yeah, it is pretty cool. Then we have the unstoppable skin over here on the backpack as well. Also over here on the actual baseball bat yet again. Then guys, over here is our calling card motor mechanic and it does show off that actual legendary type 25 skin then over here we have this ping pong emote he's literally playing ping pong with us serving to us but we never actually hit the ball back to him r.i.p but pretty cool emote nothing wrong with that and then we actually have spectra crash test and this soldier is crazy bright orange and yellow and he obviously does have like the crash dummy uh, like mask on which looks pretty cool but damn this skin is so bright it does look cool but you're gonna stand out like a sore thumb but very very cool skin nonetheless then guys we're also gonna have that same unstoppable skin over here on the locust it looks pretty toned down over here and we also have the hotspot skin over here on the j358 a pretty old skin back in the game so anyway guys that is gonna be all the season 5 lucky draws what do you guys think about that which one are you the most excited for definitely let me know down below but anyway guys that's gonna be all for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy it but for now that's all from me and squally out cheers